So 2021 is gonna be a big year for Flutter. I already know it. A lot of people are starting to realize the potential of Flutter is becoming more and more accepted everywhere. More bigger companies are starting to use Flutter. And I believe that when Flutter Web becomes stable, if it's actually truly stable and well-functioning at that point, then its popularity is just gonna skyrocket and just get bigger and bigger. Now I got fingers crossed that that could potentially happen on March 3rd, 2021. If you follow Flutter on Twitter, you can see they got a pretty big event ready to launch on the 3rd of March. I don't know what they're hiding under this cloth, but I'm definitely excited to see. But for all these new people that are about to start Flutter, how the heck do you get started? I'm hoping to break that down in this video, give you a good clear path to start using Flutter in 2021, and to be able to grow into a really great Flutter developer by the end of the year, hopefully. So let's get started. Now, before you actually start diving deep into Flutter and how it all works, I think it's truly important to have a like a good base of object-oriented programming principles. Now Flutter makes it really easy for you to just jump into the code and be able to build the counter app or a simple to-do app. And you might feel like you understand what's going on, but if it's your first time programming or maybe you're just really new to programming overall, I definitely suggest you take some object-oriented programming classes or learn about object-oriented programming first before you dive deep into it. Even though you're able to build something easily with Flutter, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be building something very quality. And once you get to the harder parts, once your app becomes bigger, you're going to struggle a lot if you don't have the core principles down. But let's say you're already a developer from a different language, maybe JavaScript, maybe C++ or something like that. I think you'll have no trouble just getting right into Flutter. The language that Flutter is made for is Dart, and you might be scared a little bit because it's a completely new language, but I assure you Dart is one of the easiest languages to learn, especially if you have some other object-oriented programming experience in either C++ or some other language. You're going to have a really quick time adapting to Dart. Just take a look at the syntax, and then you're ready to get started. So the first and main source I use to learn Flutter and still use to this day is definitely the documentation. Flutter has outstanding documentation, and it's definitely the number one source of truth that you should go to. So you go to the Flutter site, where we were at before click the docs up here and here you have all the documentation you would ever need if you run into any problems there's a search bar at the top let's say we want some state management can't spell but it helps me out boom here's some state management now actually the way i learned flutter is by doing their code labs if you go to the write your first app part you'll see there's google developers code lab link here there might be something somewhere else, but this is the one I used. And when you go here, you can filter by category and we can choose Flutter. And this will give you a whole bunch of courses created by Google that teach you almost everything you would need to know for Flutter. There's topics like how to test a Flutter app, how to write a plugin, an intro to Dart for Java developers, getting to know Firebase. Definitely take a look at these walk through them, and I'll have a good grasp of at least the introductory topics for Flutter. And the nice thing about this is you know you can trust it because it's the actual Google team that made these. Now the next great resource is Free Code Camp. This is probably one of the most popular coding resources out there. So if you go to their videos, search Flutter, they also obviously have their website you can go look on there. And I recommend this build production app from scratch because there's a pretty cool guy that teaches that course. I'll give you a hint, it's me. And then if you're looking for a paid course, which is usually structured very well, I recommend this one. However, take that with a grain of salt. I haven't taken this. I just heard some really good things from other people who have tried it. And there's about 90,000 students that have taken it and has 4.7 stars. So I assume it's a pretty good course. This course goes over an introduction of Flutter, why you should use Flutter, setup installation as well as building some apps and the thing that i really like is it covers some object-oriented programming principles like abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism and much much more by the way all these links will be in the description so make sure to check it out down there but now the next resource which is the second biggest resource that i used is of course youtube so you might have heard of this guy before even though he's sometimes cringy he i think can teach a couple topics just past 10,000 subscribers too, which is pretty cool. But I recommend going through some of the playlists like the Flutter Basics. Another one that I'm working on is the Flutter University, which hopefully will start you from the very beginning of programming to being a sufficient Dart and Flutter programmer. I have my Deep Dive series, which goes over some very in-depth topics like rendering. I created a playlist called Flutter for Beginners for people that are just starting out. And I also have a playlist for five different state managements, although some of them don't have too many videos, but we got Riverpod, GetX, States Rebuilder, Provider, and Block. So if you want to learn any of these state management tools, which is something you definitely should learn, make sure to check that out. I'll recommend you some of the channels that I personally watch. Of course, there's probably a lot of the channels that I don't have on this list or I've missed. Let me know in the comments if you have any other channels that you like. But one of the top ones I think is Robert. He has really great videos and they're always very professionally made. Hopefully you guys all know about Resocoder. If you want to achieve professional level coding, 
He's probably the go-to channel. He has really long series on test-driven development, domain-driven development, and a lot of complicated topics like river pods, integration testing, and much, much more. He's one of the bigger Flutter channels out there. Now, so that this video won't be 10 minutes long, let's go through the rest pretty quickly. We have Mtech Viral, who's one of the first Flutter channels out there. There's Fireship, who has very professional videos on Firebase and Flutter as well. But he covers a lot more topics than just those two, so you have to search for it a little bit. We have Flutter Explained, who makes really quality videos as well. I've learned a lot from them too. And also Phil Stacks, who has really high production videos as well. Make sure to check all of them out in the description below. But if you've been watching with me for a little while now, usually you like to know I go like to go to the official source of things. So there's also an official Flutter YouTube channel, which I watch most of their videos. They have an amazing playlist called Flutter and Focus that goes over a lot of the topics in depth. Then they have the Flutter widget of the week, which is really handy where every week I notice a widget that I didn't really know about and then I get to potentially use it as well as many more great videos. If I missed any of your favorite Flutter YouTubers, make sure to let me know in the comments. I'll add them in the description as well for people to see. Another great resource is called awesome flutter and you can find it on github and this repository is basically a curated list of the best ways to learn flutter or maybe just the biggest resource for learning flutter this is just a big readme file and you can see there's contents for articles videos all sorts of things flutter related so you can click on any of these that you're looking for and try it out if you want to do some gaming there's a flame repository that will help you assist making games with your flutter apps and they have videos all sorts of things definitely worth a look. Another thing I really love is becoming part of the actual Flutter community. The developer community on Twitter is actually pretty big and Flutter developer especially. If you want to interact with any Flutter developers, including me, make sure to go follow us on Twitter. And here I have created a list of 63 people that I know on Twitter that create really high quality Flutter content. And you can take a look at all of them. A lot of them are GDEs, which means Google developer experts. So you know you can trust their opinions. So if you want to get more involved in the community and become more social, Definitely take a look at this list, follow all these people, and hopefully you'll get some value from there too. All right, so all of those resources that would help you get started in Flutter and help you become more professional in Flutter, but they're just resources. And it's really easy to get stuck in this loop of tutorials and reading articles and becoming part of the community. But the real way you actually learn any development is you actually have to build some software. After you get a good grasp of Flutter, you get the core logic, maybe you already understood object-oriented programming principles, then just jump right in and start building things. Use those resources I provided as a guide whenever you run into an issue and just build as many apps as you can. Try to build them as professionally as you can and you'll learn that way a lot faster. Some ideas for types of apps to build is a to-do app, which is the most hated app to build ever, but I actually think it brings a lot of values because you need to, because you need to interface with a lot of things like authentication, database, you need to update lists, do all those things within your app and it's a great way to learn. Some other apps is you can get creative with a counter app, build a portfolio website, build a messaging app. And then if you're trying to be real hardcore, build a social media app because that's that's probably one of the hardest apps out there to build. It's the biggest app, maybe you just do a part of it, but you'll definitely learn a ton from that. After you've built your first three or four apps, and maybe you've taken a look at the community, become a part of it, learned a lot from people around you. By the end of the year, you keep that up, you'll definitely be a quality Flutter developer. And I think this year is going to be a pretty big year for Flutter. If not this year, then next year for sure. And I think this is a great opportunity to learn up and coming software is getting accepted more and more everywhere. I see there's more jobs opening up. And by starting now, you'll be getting ahead of the curve. And I think it'll be a really good investment of your time. So far, it's proved a great investment of my time. And I wish you the best of luck. And let's grow this Flutter community together. If you're just starting with Flutter, make sure to click the card somewhere on the screen. That'll take you to a video about building a complete production app from scratch where we go from designing the app to actually building it. And I think that's a very great resource to get you started right away. So, okay, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and see you next time.